What's happening? Hello world, this is Johnny DeLuca and welcome to your 16th SQL Server Pictorial. Um, today I want to talk to you about adding included columns, how to do so using SQL Server Management Studio and with the T-SQL script. To get started, please connect to an instance of SQL Server and once you're there, you want to go expand the databases folder. Expand AdventureWorks 2012. Expand the Tables folder. Then we're going down to sales.salesorderheader table. And that guy is right here. Gonna right click, or excuse me, just expand that. Then we're going down to the indexes. And we're going to expand indexes. Now we're looking for the IX sales order header underscore order date, the one that we created in one uh, when I showed you how to create a non clustered index. I believe that was a couple of tutorials back. I'm going to right click this, I'm going to go to properties. And now that we're here at properties, we're going to the included columns tab. All right, now we're going to click the add button. All right. And now we're looking for the boxes that say status and account numbers. So we have their status right there and account number right there. We're going to click OK. We're going to go over here and click OK again. To apply changes, the index will be created. OK. And we're good to go. There you have it. Now I'll show you how to do the same thing using a T-SQL script. As always, copy this code down. Pause the tutorial and copy, copy it down. You can save it, use it at a later date, modify it. Going to hit execute. Commands completed successfully. So now you know how to add included columns to an index using SQL Server Management Studio and how to accomplish the same, t same thing, excuse me, running a simple T-SQL script. Thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Oh, and uh, before we go, something else I wanted to briefly touch on. Um, with non-clustered indexes, the leaf level contains bookmark lookups to the leaf level of the clustered index. This operation can sometimes slow down the processing of a query and so, to get around this issue, SQL Server allows you to add additional information in the leaf level of a non-clustered index. You do so by adding the included argument, all caps included, to your index creation script. So in short, the included column improves the performance of a query by eliminating the need for it to obtain data from the clustered index. This technique is synonymous with a tuning strategy known as covering indexes. A covering index is a non-clustered index that has all the information at the leaf level to satisfy the query. So a little beneficial information to go along with this tutorial. Again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next tutorial.